showing you how I empty it so it's just easy this is just the notch where I made it to keep it steady I just remove this so that's done Okay, so that's done. Then what I did, I'm uh, just removing this rubber band from here as well. I just remove this rubber from here and take the seal out. So, just removing this rubber from here. And there's nothing signs to it. Uh, so, this is the hose that is connected to my vacuum what well, I did I made a small hole I made a small hole smaller than the size of this and then force it in like this so it makes a good seal and I don't have, have to glue it and to keep it steady I tied this rubber band around it and made a knot on this handle so that it doesn't move and go anywhere and then tied that rubber handle that rubber to this hose as well to keep it steady likewise this hose should not go anywhere what I did I uh, used the rubber again on and top of it and just wrap it around the handle to make it steady so it doesn't fall apart and the reason why I did it, I didn't want to waste time gluing it. So this is the old hose that's connected to this pipe. It goes here at the mouth of the bottle. And I just removed the cap and forced this rubber pipe on top of it. Made a good seal putting this rubber and twisting the rubber around the hose and the mouth bottle and then tying it to the handle to make a good seal and you can see inside that's all the dirt we collected so that's all the dirt we collected so that's all inside and that's um, I was cleaning my surface and all the dirt that I collected and now we can use this a uh, hose area to empty the bottle and we can let it stand to dry and we can use this bottle I'm not going to remove this as it's a good seal and it can be used again